Uzbekistan, the most populous country in Central Asia, a complex mixing pot of the entire region and beyond. Only about 10% of the land is irrigated in the river valleys and oases that host its largest cities and most of the population. Outside of these urban areas, livestock farming is a major economic sector in Uzbekistan. At present, more than 90% of livestock is raised by smallholder farmers which produce the majority of the country's meat and dairy supply. This growing sector needs to be managed and its environmental impact taken into account. Most smallholder farmers do not have consistent and secure access to pasture land, resulting in unsystematic and illegal use of pastures, made worse by a changing climate and competition from the global market, without the benefit of the technical tools commonly used by livestock farmers in the global north. To address this challenge, Karakorum's team was invited to Uzbekistan by the United Nations Development Program in August 2021 in order to run a five-day workshop designed by Google Ventures called a Sprint. This workshop, designed to kickstart big ideas, led us to the early development of a future precision livestock farming platform for low and middle income countries. A sprint compresses months of work into a few days of effective, creative collaboration between end users, key stakeholders, and the sprint team. We align everyone's vision and deliver results quickly while de-risking large and complex developmental challenges. Within five days, the team moves from nothing other than a large challenge to solve, then proceeds to do user research and problem mapping on Monday, sketching solutions on Tuesday, picking a solution to prototype on Wednesday, building this prototype using mockups, low-code solutions, and open-source hardware on Thursday, and testing the results with end users on Friday. Our sprint team was comprised of a joint UNDP Karakorum group, a mix of engineers, product specialists, livestock subject matter experts, developers, and strategists. This eclectic mix of coders and non-coders, designers and non-designers, UN experts and people with no experience in development gave our team the diversity of background to ideate freely and shoot for the moon. We know we can't solve the problem in five days, and if we had more time, sure, we might be able to do more in weeks, months, years, or decades. But we also believe there are diminishing returns to this when kickstarting a project. By working within restrictive budgets and restrictive time constraints, we are often the most creative. Five days, believe it or not, is enough time to get viable information on a direction and gain traction towards a solution. Monday, August 23rd, 2021. The first day of the sprint is often one of the hardest, with new team members working together for the first time. There is a need to come together quickly and trust the process. After a 90-minute drive from the capital city of Tashkent, we arrive in the mountain farming district of Akungaran in order to meet Abduvali Holtareyev, a livestock farmer and farm manager who agreed to work with the UNDP Karakorum sprint team. Abduvali's farm of 15,000 sheep, goats, and horses was dramatically impacted by the changing climate. The traditional methods for finding feed and water for his animals were failing year on year due to a lack of rain and resulting desertification. It became clear to us that Abduvali was fiercely interested in, deprived of, basic data about his land and animals, the type of information that is easily available through open source satellite data and through simple on the ground sensors. Basic data points taken for granted by Western livestock farmers like the location of animals, current grass height, groundwater saturation, and plant growth over time felt impossible and out of reach to Abduvali and his team of shepherds. If he had access to this data, Abduvali felt that he would allow his team to monitor the location of their animals more accurately, as well as increase their access to feed, leading to better animal product yield and ultimately more profit for their work. Although they admitted they were unfamiliar with most technical tools and had low cellular connectivity in their rugged mountain farm. Tuesday, August 24th, 2021.
Day two of the sprint focuses on detailing the problem with key stakeholders in the Uzbekistan government, including the Ministry of Agriculture, Ministry of Innovation, State Committee for Livestock, and many others who joined the sprint team as guests for the day. The first challenge to solve was clarifying as a group how we jointly defined sustainability, as well as agreeing on user personas and pain points for livestock farmers. The sprint team discussed the environmental, technical, and operational limitations that these farmers faced, including those around limited technical knowledge, low connectivity, lack of funding, and rugged terrains that are not easy to map or measure using sensors. As a group, we next take these pain points and reframe them into something positive we can solve, actual opportunities. Dozens of them, all important and too many to solve. Picking a focus is often a challenge, even for developmental experts who do this for a living. To pick, we vote. Everyone in the room gets two red dots, which everyone places on top of the challenge statements they found the most compelling, important, and solvable. At last, we had our challenge statement. How might we use existing modern technology to obtain more accurate land and animal information? Bir milyon artı yerimiz var. Bunu hazır kılıç e, tuğra faydalanan iş, şey, el o yerlerimizden, onu başkar iş, e, bugün şey, aktuar masalının bir tesisi olan yerde. Şunun için hazır ötkazılgen, bana şu seminer bize ge, bu, bu yol bu hizmet kıladı. Kinyan bütün muhum e, masalası, şey, İslami masalı şu Karakoram, Kampanyası bu akıllı teknolojilerden faydalanıldı. Şu yenge tizimle işlep çıkardı. Bizden bir de taklifimiz var. Bu Özbekistan'da bize de yayla yerlerine faydalanışta işte, kosmik suratlarına faydalanış. Yani remote sensing data. Faydalanış, işte de gah bura tizimlerinden kollaş. Birinci nabette bu bize işte cahide yayla onun ekin turlarını anaklaşmamız gerek. Yani cahide çıkmasan turup oradı. Bu yerdeki işte yayla ötümlüklerinde masasına yaklaşmamız gerek ki bu bize ertege fermiyelerimizde cüde katta yordam bölgede ki bu da kançalık işte yöyde yayla oldu, çarolma oldu, baksa bölgede ya da işte yöyde kançalık uzak masafıda cöyleşken ya da yakın masafıda cöyleşken onun infratüzülmesini bize işte kosmik malumatla yordam oldu, işte fermiyelerimiz yordam bölgede bölgede. Bu sırada bize tamamen bir katta kursu yordam oldu bölgede. Amal başlayan çünkü katta rahmat, vakti acıratıp, şuna göre öyleymiş ki bu loyhanın neticesi, dolayısıyla Respublikamız için ya da umumi yaylalarımız için kayıtsızdır bana da yaşlılaşınca hizmet kol hizmet kıladıgın umuttamız. Bizde taşkılatımız ama uzda ve loyha taşkılatımız yaylalar gibi bir tane kesim olmuş olanımız. Belki. Birgelikte, loyha doyurası da, hamkarlıkta işleşimiz hem mümkün. Eğer hamkarlıkta işte iş, e, taklifini veremiz, okulasalarız, birgelikte işleşimiz hem mümkün. Avalı, katta rahmat, e, biz tayarımız her doyum birge işleşke. Wednesday, August 25th, 2021. Armed with our agreed challenge statements, user personas, and definitions of sustainability, we were ready to start thinking about solutions and picking one to prototype. Farmers generally only used low-cost mobile phones with poor connectivity, and the only platform they seemed comfortable with were chat applications, primarily Telegram. A key finding from Monday was that Telegram was actually the primary way that Uzbeks had received information from the government about COVID-19, and was now a trusted way to communicate not only with friends, but also with the government. Conveniently, Telegram was also primarily designed for areas of extreme low connectivity and generally used by the majority of the population. The Sprint team began sketching a rough idea for a Telegram chatbot, which would combine basic AI chat capabilities with both satellite and IoT ground sensor data in order to give farmers the information they asked for on Monday in a chat-based format. We imagined a scenario where perhaps a suite of long-distance 2G or LoRa-based IoT precision livestock farming sensors could be deployed across a farm, overlaid on top of basic satellite data provided by FAO and Google. Our hypothesis was that this could allow the farmers to ask Telegram where their animals are currently grazing, determine if they are in the correct location, and automatically be notified about health and feed requirements, 
even passing land and animal information onwards to the government if needed to combat desertification. Thursday, August 26, 2021. Prototype day. The day when all hands are on deck to hack, fake, and engineer a realistic enough version of our concept for actual user feedback. The pressure to do this is immense, and Thursday is often the day when cracks start to form amongst the team. Everyone is pushed to their limit, as the team often has very different ideas about how to prototype a solution, with no one either right or wrong. The sprint team had to divide and conquer, splitting into three teams, each focusing on a different part of the prototype. One team built a no-code but highly realistic chatbot demo which could mimic the interactions and questions that the future product would ask. A second team focused on using open source hardware to build a low connectivity IoT GPS tracker that would locate farm animals. While a third team built a fully functional but basic Telegram chatbot which would respond to queries about animal location and offer open source satellite data about their position in relation to groundwater, grass growth, and other key data sets. Working late into the night, the team struggled, but was able to complete a sprint-level working prototype for all three critical components of the demo by 11 p.m., with enough time for a few hours of sleep before Friday's all-important demo. Friday, August 27th, 2021. As day five of the product design sprint dawns, anticipation is high as we return to Akangaran. It was time to test our prototype and to learn which ideas work and which didn't. Friday is entirely about validation and real user feedback. We never guarantee that we found a solution in five days, but can promise that we'll have clear direction and momentum. It's pretty uncommon for everything to work perfectly on demo day, as we're operating with pretty rough prototypes. The goal is simply to have our work to the point where the end user feel that what we've built is real. Holding our collective breath, the sprint team worked with the farm shepherds to safely attach our prototype sensors to a goat, connecting our prototype chatbot demos, and sit down nearby with Abduvali, the farm manager. With the sensors attached to the animals and the chatbot working, there was nothing left to do but sit and wait for feedback. Intuitively understanding how the chatbot worked, Abduvali was quick to comment how happy he was to use Telegram to have a better understanding of his land and animals, as well as to be given satellite data that would dramatically help him farm more sustainably. In building the world's first IoT-enabled chatbot for Telegram, the joint Karakoram UNDP sprint team may have stumbled onto a concept that would have impact at scale, not only across Uzbekistan, but in many low- and middle-income countries. Karakorum's field-based sprints allow us to focus on challenges from the bottom up, speaking with actual end users and identifying the challenge, not as we see it, but as it really is. It's not all about beautiful buildings in far-flung locations, stunning spaces, and interviews with people from different cultures. It's an opportunity to walk a mile in someone else's shoes, if even for a short time. By the end of the week, if we've done it right, everyone is tired, a little sick of each other, but hopefully proud of what we've built. As the team departed from Uzbekistan, the entire sprint team knew that there was a huge amount left to do. A sprint is not designed to solve any problem, but if run correctly, there will be a clear list of what to do next and huge momentum for continued development of the solution. This was not the end of something, but the start. <laughs>